Hello, it's Sarah. I am going to do some wood burning this evening. I just decided I'm doing it. All right. I have this little pattern and I decided to put it on a piece of wood like this. I kind of came in about a half inch from the edge and then it fit. This is a pattern that I got off of the plaid, plaid the brand, um, platonline.com and here's the little project that they did it's some doodle flowers and I just thought it was so cute so it goes through the tools that you need the paint colors and I think there's even a little tutorial they use the um, the plaid two-in-one craft tool but I'm gonna be using uh, my Colewood Super Pro 2 and it's heating up right now. So the first thing you want to do though is to just trace the pattern. So I traced it out, put it under here with just tracing paper. This is um, Canson tracing paper. You know what tracing paper is. Um, I, I like to use a pencil. I don't know why, but you can use whatever you want. You just place it over and I trace the at the all the most of the lines anyway um, and then like I said I came in about an inch the first thing actually though I actually did seal this wood because when I shared this project this little guy I did not seal the wood first and I just feel like because I am going to paint it that I wanted to um, try that this time and I just used an all-purpose sealer I just touched the hot iron with my, my shirt. Um, All-purpose sealer. So I just use this. This is, um, I, I think they do have this at uh, Michael's. It's by Joe Sonia. So I just gave this a coat and sanded it uh, with some fine sandpaper. And then I trace. So you just take this. I centered it on here. First I gave myself a half an inch on all the sides. And then I kind of lined up this pattern here. And... I, I stuck it down with some washi tape and then you take I have carbon paper there's graph this is actually graphite paper and I do think I heard in one of the tutorials that I saw on wood burning for some reason they preferred one over the other and I don't remember which one it was that they preferred either carbon or graphite but I have graphite and that's what I'm using so I use that and then I'm ready to burn so I'm just going to use the, um, I don't know what this tip is called. I, I, I forget. I think it's kind of got a wedge to it. I'll come in. I'll go in a little bit. And I'm going to use also, just let me mention, I am indoors and I'm going to use my, this is the Haka FA whatever. It's a smoke absorber. It's got a filter in it and it just kind of sucks the smoke over. I use it when I solder, when I do stained glass. So that's going to be on as well because you do get some smoke and I don't have a mask or anything to use. So I'm just going to um, hopefully let that, if it gets too smoky, I might stop and I'll do it outside tomorrow because um, doing it outside is really a good way to go. I also usually have a piece of scrap wood. So I'm just going to grab something. These actually don't look too scrappy. This one. I'll use the back of this. Just to see if it's hot enough. Like right now I'm on a four, so I'm going to go up, I'm going to go up to a five. All wood burns a little bit differently, so um test it definitely test it with a similar type of wood so this is very much the same type of wood all right so I'm just going to start by making all my straight lines and then I'm going to change to a different tip when I start making curvy lines and slow is the way to go when you're doing this because if you put too much pressure or move too fast 
chances are you're going to muck up. So I'm going to keep it relatively slow and watch my pressure. So I'm going to try and put the same amount of pressure and I might see, look, I'm going, I just went off. If you push too hard, you also make a ridge in the wood, like a gouge. And then you won't be able to change direction because your this little like chisel knife edge thing will get stuck in the rut. So I'm just kind of slow and I'm gonna turn the piece as well as I go. Instead of trying to move myself around, I'm gonna just turn the wood. I feel like pulling toward me is easiest too instead of trying to go away from me. And I'm using this side of this point. Um, I feel like I get a nice straight line that way, but see how I'm going to curve? So I'm going to just turn my hand and put it on a little tilt. I like that. I'm going to add some details to it as well. Um, with some dots and a little bit of shading and then I'm going to paint it with acrylic paint and just some washes like I'm not going to get crazy like not solid so I think I'm going to go off camera oops see I went totally crooked um, hopefully you can erase the graphite lines that's what's so let's see if I can. I'll just put that in the holder. And I just have a regular, like a regular eraser. Generally you can erase. Well, I also discolored the wood. It actually looks like shading. Can you see that? So I'm going to go off camera. Because I really just want to get to a place where... so. For the round lines, I would switch over to this tip, which it has a more of a, I can make a rounder, because I'm going to make little circles here. So I'll be back when I get a little bit more done. I'll be right back. All right, I'm definitely more, I like the, t the the way I burn with this straight edge one, I tried this one. This is still hot, but I don't do as well with this one. It's just, it comes out much thicker. I think, you know what, as I'm looking at it though, you can still, it still gets a good result. So that's all that really matters. But this straight one, I just like the thin, precise, now, like my eye just likes it better than this one. I don't know, it feels this is really wide and like loose looking. This is more sharp. Anywho, um, but I just plugged in the, the ball tool one, so I'm gonna do some detailing with the ball tool one. I figured I'd show you that. And then I'm going to go around this. I decided to make another line. I think I'm going to do like a, a dot dash. So I'm just going to go make like a, a sewing line. Like so, stitches is what I mean. Oh man, that was crooked. I'm going to turn it up a little bit. Ouch. And I'm just going to make stitches along the edge. I measured in about a quarter inch. No, not, not a quarter. I don't know. The first, like, line. The first line here. So that's not a quarter. Um, an eighth of an inch, I would say. And Because I just felt like it just looked a little plain over here. Definitely needed a burnt edge to it. So it's pretty time consuming. This has taken me 
at least a half an hour. I, I didn't look at the clock, so I don't know, but it's pretty time consuming because I definitely want to take my time, but I like that better. I don't even know if I was in the shot. Um, <clears throat> I think I've got all my straight lines. I missed, oh boy, I turned it up pretty hot. But I'm just making a couple more little grass lines. And one of the things right here, like, because I have the picture, it, it doesn't really look like that. That's okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to do the little dot flowers. I'm going to flip this over to the dotting tool and I'll show you how I'm going to make these dot flowers. I want to see if I can erase. I don't think it's going to erase. That's my... Because I made a black mark there already. So that probably is what the person was saying about carbon paper and graphite paper. Maybe the graphite just rubs right off and the carbon doesn't. I'm not sure. No, this is graphite, so this is not coming off too well. I have a bunch of lines up here. Let's just see if it comes off. Really, I'm gonna just take. Oh, I'll just use this paper towel. I don't think it'll be that noticeable once. Um, ooh, look how hot that is. I'm gonna turn that down. I'm gonna go down to a four because that was super hot. The thing turned red. Let's see, it'll make nice dip dots. So I'm going to go and I'm going to make some flowers. I'm going to go. I think I'll make it a little wider. So like maybe four. Maybe I should hold it straight up and down. And I am pressing hard. I will break this thing, I tell you. Because I'm so rough. I'm going to put one down a little lower. But that looks cute. I need to put a couple lines on this one, I forgot. But this one has, like, on these big... And I think I want to put, like this one has, in the center of each of these. Hopefully I'm in the shot. Making them more doodly. And then I think there's like three dot. So I'm the tracing has it. I will burn myself because I'm too hasty. These little three dots and then I gotta make little but I want to make um, I wish this would come on. What else did I want to do? I think I'm going to put a dot in between I'm not in the shot, am I? I don't know if this is good or bad. Just add a little different texture.
don't know if that was good or not. I gotta go up. Alright, when I come back, I'm gonna be ready to paint. So I'm just gonna finish up. I have a couple, I have to make these little flowers on this. A couple little things I'm gonna do, and then I'm gonna be ready to paint. So I'll be back. Alright. I like it. I put a couple of daisies in the corners. I'm not sure if I love that, but it needed something. It looked a little plain. I could have just not used that shape and just made it straight. That probably would have been a better idea. And then adding those little dots. I just really like that dotting tool, but I don't like that as much. Like, I mean, this has, it's like a, a dot dash situation going on but it was like dash dot 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 so I kind of like that better anywho it's time to paint and that's my favorite part so I'm gonna start with some white and I'm gonna put it on the petals of a couple of these flowers so I'm gonna just float the color on and it gets in the in the paints and the little what would it be called? The ruts of the burning lines. So, I don't know what to do about that. I'm sure the directions would maybe tell me, right? I mean, the plaid directions, I should probably read it and maybe it would tell me. But I'm just winging it, guys. I love adding color to things. I'll never be able to just wood burn without adding color anymore because it's just everything. It's way better than not having color. And that's just what I'm going to do. So, see if you go too dark though, it will color in. So you really just want to be very like subtle. Yeah, thanks. The kids are playing in the other room and the, um, playing video games, and so let's see. I'm going to put a little bit of white on these petals. I mean, I don't even need to float. I'm trying to be gentle. Maya's here today, and um, they're playing video games. Um, it's getting cold here in South Jersey. We had, well, I was out and doing things today, but um, it's kind of indoor weather almost already, which is sad. I try to get outside as much as I can, though. I walk the dogs for sure because they don't care what the temperature is. Um, anywho. I just felt like doing this because I'm going to be working on some Christmas projects soon and I just wanted to get, because this was on my desk for a long time. Alright, so what's that look like? Can you see it? I'm going to come in a little bit. There we go. I'm going to add a little bit of, let's go yellow because I can do the centers and, um, oh I put it out already. See, I'm already I'm good to go. I'm going to just go down a little bit in size with my brush because, and I like to use an angle brush, because I'm a heavy hand, meaning I load my brush up so um, much that the smaller brush helps me not go overboard. So it's just a help sometimes for me to not have as big of a brush. So that's yellow. Hopefully it'll show up. My lighting isn't the best in here. And I'm going to put orange. That that flower is going to be orange, but I'm going to put yellow to the top of these and then I'm going to put orange on the bottom. But see how it went in the it went in the wood lines. So that stinks. I'm not sure how to get around that. Mm. All right, that's all the orange. Then I have some pink. I'm going to put that on these flowers. I'm just going to go kind of where the wood, where I made the um, burn lines. I'll just go darkest on that side. Like it's kind of like shading. I don't know, it makes it look cool. And then I'll probably go back after it dries a little bit along 
the very bottom. <coughs> Do the same thing on this guy. Now, I did seal the wood. I said that I sealed it in the beginning, and that should help me if I need to get anything off because it won't just absorb into the wood the way it would if I hadn't sealed it. That's the idea, anyway. So, I gotta get some orange on this guy. I have this is the Apple Barrel gloss paints, and I got these for um, making dot paintings because I like the way they look um, when they're dimensional but I figured I would see what that's gonna look like and I'm gonna stick towards the back here and try to keep it light but I'm just gonna go along the back and try not to go over the yellow I'm kind of painting around it. That paint has a funny smell. We need smeller vision. And um, I don't know. It just all right. And now I'm going to take a little bit of that orange and put it here and here. Hopefully you saw that. Oh, it's starting to look cute. Where else did I put orange? Nowhere. All right, and then I could put some white on these daisies. That might look pretty and yellow, right? But first let's put the green because I think the green is gonna look so good. I'm going to use two different colors of green and actually I could use yellow let's see this looks like and I'm sure it again it tells me probably because that just could be yellow um let me think I think I'm gonna go with the darker green and I might just use yellow but I could use this darker green I'm going to save a little bit of room to add the um, lighter color on the leaves. So I'm sticking to the bottom and then I'll put the lighter color at the top and then I'll put um, I'm going to put, I have to switch brushes and I'll just stroke in the bottom. Just use like a little little rounder. Let's see. Oh, I'll use my rigger. And I'm just going to take that dark green and just kind of stroke in some Hey Kirby. She came to see me. Um, that looks okay. I think I'm going to switch to a little smaller, like a round brush, and I'll fill in these. a little bit of that light green on the top. See, it goes right down in the middle of the burn area, so 
I don't know. I don't not really know how to avoid that because paint is a liquid and it's going to fall. Gravity's pushing it into the. But that looks pretty. Let me take that rigger and do it with the light green. Let's see. I don't really like the way mine's turning out as far as the grass because they have a lot more but when I float across it I'll fix it. I think it looks pretty though. I'm gonna put some um, white on the daisies and some I'm gonna do orange centers You really use very little paint when you do it like this. Um, really don't need very much paint, which is great. So I'm just going to go right at the tips. We could actually shade up. Yeah, I think I'm going to. It looks like they used a little bit of green on that. Oops, I went the wrong way. Here, here's the remote if you want the remote. Is she is she being Have? Yeah, she's being okay. Oh, okay. in there but maybe green I think I should pull the green up mm, I'll use the light green let me just go like this that looks good just a little bit <laughs> Maybe when I'm done filming this, I'll actually read the directions <laughs> and see what it said. But really, it's just, you can do what you want, and this makes it be mine mm -hmm. instead of, um, you know, um, always following the directions. Because I was so nervous to change and let it be mine. I always followed the directions and made it just like the artist who designed it. It's a little dark. I like it though. And then still need to add a little Uh-oh. I just got the dark green in my brush. All right. I like it. I think I'm going to put orange in these daisies. Like... up against the center. Just to fill, to bring the orange up. 
I like it. And then I could add blue. Like, I really hate that that happened. I tried to sand it out, but um, I think it's good. I mean, I don't hate it. What, what did I miss? Anything? I didn't put um, dots on these leaves, but that's basically it. I think I did a pretty good job. All right, you guys. I gotta sign it. That's it for today. Thanks for watching.